They registered with the United Nations High Commissioner for Refugees. And so they made it known to the, to the United Nations that, oh, we are new to this country, we are refugees from Liberia. And so they were able to receive like rations, rations meaning like free food for refugees and free health care for refugees because they had no way to, su to support themselves. If you didn't have family there already, it's kind of hard because you're in a new country. And unlike here when refugees come, when refugees come, they have like a house, school ready for them. It's not the same in other African countries because they themselves are struggling. But why we live in Sierra Leone, because these two countries are so connected, the war that we ran away from, from Liberia spilled over to Sierra Leone. So it's like, oh man, I thought we were done with this, but now it started over. So in 1997, when I was seven years old, another war broke out in Sierra Leone, which they were trying to overthrow the government. And so I was put back in school with no kids to go to school because there were shootings everywhere and people's houses were being burned down because kids were joining the army or they were being forced to join the rebel groups. And he had so many different groups that you can't even wrap your head. Why are they fighting? So this is like Joan Yoki is a university student here in Cleveland. She also works with refugee families through Building Hope in the City. She grew up in a large city in Liberia. She lived comfortably with her professional parents and her family until militant rebels stormed the streets and she and her family had to flee. They became refugees. Joan visited us at Harding and shared her story. It was a story that included brutal tragedy and unspeakable terror, but also a story that conveys the refugees' courage and resilience and certainly demonstrates their faith and their hope for a better life. customs, traditions, religions are all similar, except the way they speak is different because of their own different histories. So the freed slaves from America speak differently, and that's the way most Liberians speak. And Last fall, we had another person come talk to us about her refugee story. Her name was Joan Yoki. She was from Liberia, but had moved several times because the Civil War was so bad where she lived. When you are in a situation like hers, nowhere is safe for long. She told morbid stories about conditions in Liberia. People that had worked hard to be successful, like doctors or teachers, were getting maimed, having their arms hacked off. It was sad to hear about this because those people had done nothing wrong except supporting their own leaders. Another thing Joan talked about was the rebels using children as soldiers and brainwashing them. I don't know what I would do if I were in her situation or hers. Her ability to move past all this and begin a new life in a new country only shows how brave she is. Joan Yoki's speech was very inspiring and has rubbed off on all of us. Her story of bravery and travel still amazes me. Joan grew up at hard times in Liberia and Sierra Leone. Horrific sights of war, decapitation, and forced child soldiers made her family move to the capital. Things were better for a while but the fighting and trickery continued. She described gunfire that sounded like popcorn to lure people slash children in. Joan's speech taught me to be thankful for what I have because I was born in America. Listening to Joan Yoki's story was very inspiring. The details that she told, such as the children soldiers that had been injected with drugs, showed me that these horrible things were really happening in other places around the world. I cannot imagine if I had to start from scratch in a different country. Joan Yoki's message showed me to not take anything for granted. Joan Yoki's visit to our classroom was very inspirational. She had experienced so much in her lifetime, so I felt very honored to be there to hear her tell the tale. She told us many stories from Sierra Leone and Liberia that were very gruesome. Her family moved from Liberia to Sierra Leone because of the outbreak of war. All of Joan Yoki's childhood memories were from Sierra Leone because she was born after her family moved. When war broke out once again, over and over, her parents had to make the decision to move back to Liberia or to somewhere else as refugees. If they had moved to Liberia, there could be more war, so they decided to move to another country. 
they came to America. Now, Joan Yoki goes to college like a regular American student with an incredible past. She impacts so many people's lives in America. She definitely impacted mine.